you're a fan of Quake 1 and 2 and Unreal and maybe even Blood and a few other boomer shooters, I think you should move your eyes over to Wrath, Eye on the Ruin. It's a game who is re right now as an early access game, but it will be full release tomorrow, 27th. And I got the honor by getting invited to try out the full release a few days before the full release comes for you guys. So we're gonna hop in on that and see what it's all about. I've already tried it out a little bit, but I want to show everything from beginning for you. And... Uh, what is the game all about? It's pretty much that. You head in, you're gonna save the world, different arsenals and weapons, and you just claw, slice, and shred through your enemies in this hardcore FPS inspired by the icons of the 90s, powered by the legendary Quake 1 tech. So you're taking place in a realm left to, to rot. Take up your arms, unearth long forgotten secrets, and hunt down the guardians of the old world. So it's basically just, you're gonna be this old 90s hero, gonna kick lots of monsters' asses. Does that sound good? Well done. Hop into this video and see what you think. If you like the game, there will be a link to the Steam store where you can get it. Thanks once more again, Fulcrum Publishing, for inviting me for this opportunity. See you in the game. Alright, so this is something new for Wrath. You never had this in the early access version of it. It's like your starter part. You could say a tutorial, pretty much. So you just take this boat, sliding in here, parking here. I've already tried out a little bit of the game, just to see how it was running and everything. And just to see what's new. So a little bit few new stuff, a little bit of changes on some maps. So, yeah, let's see here. You have this guy to speak to. Welcome, Outlander. I have been waiting for you. The Angel Sea has delivered you to the Isle of the Dead. My voice will guide you through these pre preparations for what lies ahead. I will meet you on the other side of the Isle. Encroach on the obstacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to jump. Jump again, and then you can jump crouch to get to higher stuff like that. Very easy, like you can see here, you can't you do that, but if you do jump crouch, there we go. Okay, but ahead of you is a shrine where you can save your progress. Mm hmm mm hmm So you have shrines who look like this, so you don't need them to use. You see the little white skull in the, in the side there, close to your health? That's, um, if you press F2, if you have found those, you can actually save wherever you want. But uh, if you don't have any, you just need to look for a shrine. And you have a save game. A shrine will also fully heal you. Maybe we have that too. Let's see here. But each can be used once, only once. Yeah, you can only use them once, it's like one per use. We stepped in the elevator like he wanted us to do. You must drop into the abyss to reach me. I will, I will. Thank you. We have some armor here. You're a strong outlander, but not immortal armor will prove valuable. Yeah, stuff will happen there soon. Once we get this blade, we will have a bunch of dead people popping up here. Here we go. And easy is to have a heavy attack and murder them. Oh! You can actually double kill if you manage to do it correct like this. Oh! You just gotta do this quick. Ah! There we go. And with this blade, but okay, we do it off. We do it after this. So I can the explain. There we go. So with this blade, if you do, this is a light attack, okay. But with this blade, if you do this one and we say jump, then boop, you get boosted. So it's really good if we need to get to something who is further away, so you just boost yourself away to that place. You got this teleport. You can use the reunion blade secondary attack to cross large gaps, like I told you. So you do this and flip over here. There's some dead people here as well, so you gotta take care of them. Ooh. 
can break vases and so on to get health and so on. I think you can find ammo too in them. Okay, let's see. We need a key for that door which is in here, but we will meet some annoying twats here soon. Not here though, not further in, but here is like a jumping puzzle. Very simple to do though. Unless you don't do that. You slide fairly easy because this game is actually made. I forgot to say that. This game is made in the old Quake engine. Like Quake 1. <laughs> Which is pretty, pretty neat. There we go. First try. We break these and nothing here. We have some mushrooms here. I don't think we can find anything or no. We need to jump over there. That one down, we have the key for the door. There we go. And these people here too. Easy kill. I forgot about you, fangs. That's an ammunition type for one type of weapon we'll find later on as well. Not here though, but soon. The object on the altar. Yeah, we will do this stuff. If you pro press the scroll wheel, you have like a wheel with different stuff. We give you different stuff. Uh, flask of rage, damage multiplier. So we're gonna do that one. Then we press R and we have it. Very easy kill. No more, alright. He's gonna heal up even if you don't have to. Put that down, we take this elevator. And we don't have any damage multiplier anymore, but it's all good. Here we have a key for a coffee coffin here. We're gonna use. And I think that gives us Life Siphon, which is Think a vampire. In most games, you have like a vampiric aura. If you use this one, it's pretty much the same. So if you use that one and you hit something. You suck their life from them, and you get the increased health again. There we have a skull, so if you want to save, you can use that bomb. The artifact. So press F2 to save, but I'm not gonna do that yet. But we have to, never mind. I thought you didn't have to. Go. Let's gonna go meet up this guy here. There we have him. Well done, Outlander. Your mill has been tested and you have not been found wanting. Yonder lies the Morning Veil. To reach it, you must activate this portal. Fetch your relic from nearby and place it in the Standing Stone. So that's the relic and that's the Standing Stone. So this is pretty much just like... Tutorial how to do things, learn the basics, which isn't too much, to be honest. But you don't need to have a real advanced gameplay to be able to do stuff anyhow. We have a portal here, so we're gonna head into that and see you in the morning way. So, here's where you start in the Earl Access. We don't have enemies here. This is like a way to where you're gonna go, which is, if you say like this, as this much. Morning Whale is your personal hub. You have three different worlds, and through this hub, you can actually reach to all of these worlds, so you have, I think they said it's not many bosses, but you don't really need that. The enemies itself are very challenging when it comes in the group. You will see you soon. Welcome out to the morning way. Thank you. The one has chosen you to save, to be the savior of this world. The lost guardian languishes in pr prison by his east wild peers. Free him and the old world may be saved. Mm-hmm, I will try. So, I haven't done... I During the Earl Access, I tried one of the worlds. But I'm gonna do the one I'm more familiar with. At a certain point. We got, I'm not gonna play through the whole thing, but you will see a little bit of the game at least. So you can make up your own mind if you like what you see and maybe you wanna get it. And then it will be a link below in the description. How, where to get it. So, let's see. It's that one. <laughs> Gotta use. Let's see, what do we have here? Some cysts, which is like a. If, did you ever play Unreal Tournament? You had this bio rifle in that game? This weapon you can get is pretty much the same thing, but you're shooting cysts. 
So, see you at this place. I don't remember the name of it. It didn't really say anything. I think it say after, but okay. See you in there. I'm pretty sure I did miss what it said, but this place is called the Undercrofts. So you pretty much if you start them in the catacombs, you can find armor and so on in these uh, graves here sometime. There you go. Some armor shards. But you will not always find, but... Majority of the time you'll find some stuff to help you out in battle. You will get a pistol here soon, which is pretty neat as well. You can actually... Okay, sir. Just calm down. I tried. I tried to speak here. Um, there we have slugs. With this pistol, you can actually ricochet bullets if you want to. Which is nice as well. Find some health. Find some armor. We don't really need armor. Let's see. You gonna? I don't know if we had the head there yet. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, we need the head there. Just want to check through everything before we head in there. Yeah. yeah okay. So we will find the pistol here soon. Just gonna, just gonna grab that one as well, so we have more to save with. But right now it's not too, not too bad here, so we don't really have to think about it in that way. Then we have the pistol. We're gonna use that one, and we will have some stuff here. We'll be angry at us. And I'm gonna show you the, how the pistol works. Here are the, here's the regular sh shooting. Here are the ricochet on the, do the right click. Murder way quicker, but you're using more. Um, let's see, one. Yeah, you're using a bit more ammunition by doing it, but you kill it way quicker, and you can use ricochet with it. It can help you out in the long run. You say there's lots of them. Do you wanna be uh, get rid of one specific type or something? I can help you out a little bit. These guys are very mean, but they are not hard to kill. They're fairly violent. Especially when they can shoot back themselves. <laughs> hey, action, fight back with guns. There we go, got him. <laughs> Rude. Let's see. Nothing here. We are gonna actually head up here, but we'll have more enemies around here soon. Just need to check her up. Are oh, you killing Fairy Fall? Oh! Ooh, that hurt, sir. There we go. Not allowed to take my me bleed my own blood. More ammunition. We are filled up. Just want to make sure we can find more ar uh, uh, armor as well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Took a little time. I'm, I'm a little bit too fat for this place. Go. Let's see. Sorry, you called now. Okay, let's see. Here are the stairs we need to go to. Uh, we have the shotgun there. We have a nice second there as well, but it's kind of slow. We'll see soon. Yeah, show you. This is the left. That was the right click. You you charge it up. It's like a big slug. One shot them fairly, fairly easy. But these guys are very mean too. Let's see. Oh yeah, this one shoots shards after them if you do you hit the wall or something. Is it? It's kind of mean in that way. I tried to see if I could hurt them. There we go. He's gone. I don't remember the name on it, but you have, let's see, you have a beast area, three different stuff. Fallen is the zombies, Widow is these who come screeching and running for you, what I killed a bunch of in the tutorial. Invader is these guys with the, the gum. Wretch is these guys with the weird uh, uh, optic on their, on their face. There's a nice little beast here. I, I feel most games need to have. Just because it's a great little tool, so you know what, what they're called and so on. It adds in a little bit to immersion of the game. Let me have these. What are they called? Wraith. Alright. 
Let's see. I don't want to really use all the shotgun ammo for these guys. Oh, sir. Ow. They're fairly easy to kill anyway. So you're just gonna do this and boop. You save it just in case. So, as you can see, stuff is getting a little bit more hectic all the time with new enemies spawning in. But it's not, it's not too bad. I would say it's getting worse later on. Especially when you, you see when I, I just press and you slide a little bit. So that can mess you over if you have like a steep, steep place to go to later. Take care of that guy too, then we do this and boop! Right in his face! And these guys... These were the... I already forgot the name of them, but... They explode sometime when you kill them. And it will hurt you, if you're not careful enough. Oh, what do you call again? Vretch, there we go. The Vretch explode, if you hit them... And they start shooting, like it, it actually kills them. They die when they do that. You want to keep a little bit distance from them just because they go poof. They blow up like a set. It hurts. Let's see, do you have anything else here? That one, some more angry guys here. Boop! Take care of the invader. And that one. There we go. Easy kills. Easy PC. Oh, wait, what did he had? There we go. We're supposed to find... It's a thing, though. It was a little while ago I played now, when I tried out this full version. So I already forgot a little bit where to go. Never mind, I forgot! What's this? I don't want you to murder me, sorry, sir. Like that. Take care of you. And you. There we go. We're gonna head up here. To the next area. There you have a new guy as well. I don't remember the name of them. But we can check soon. But they are very... Annoying. They're not hard to, too hard to kill. But they can be such a pain in the ass. Let's see. What were they called? Afflicted, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are like cyst-filled creature. And I think it hurts you too when they explode. But they are like they pretty much just they throwing cysts at you and it hurts. It's like acid pretty much, if you say that much. It's the easiest way to explain how how they work. Oh shit. There we go, to carry him. Carry him too. I will already forget the names of these guys because I'm not good at remembering names. Except these, they are the invaders. And Widow. I remember Widow too because. Right. There we go, take care of these guys. I'm gonna send this one. Uh! Oh, uh! There we go. We want that one. stupid little trap. We will get more ammunition for shotgun too, but not at the moment. There we go, he's gone. And now, now a little bit of action starts here. He has a shotgun ammo. But you just need to dance around a little bit and it's all good. Easy piece it. Let me squeeze it. There we go to carry him. Do we have more ammunition? Nope. Are we gonna gra drag this out? Let's see. You wanna fight? You wanna die? No one. Okay, cool. Do I have. Yeah. Ah! There we go. Oh! oh, there we go. Yeah, you see, he can hurt you a little bit if you attack him. He's a 
good thing to show you anyway. If I die, I die. It's just to show up a little bit of the game. Anyhow, we have a sif on there we're gonna go grab. Why not? Oh, ah. Slash and dash. Nice little achievement there. No, nope, you sir, calm down. You come in here and fight me. I'm not gonna jump down there. Hey, little coward. Come here. Okay. He's a little shy, that's why. There we go. He's a little shy guy. I'm not supposed to bully him, but I, I, I prefer to bully him. There we go. We have a little bit of that. We have some shards here. And fangs. Which is a weapon we get a little bit later on here, in, down in the cave. Let's see if we have anything else to fight here. No, but we have these guys. We can take care of these. More armor here to get. And I'm 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 not known to look up look for secrets and so on. I know there are secrets in this game. I'm not a big secret searcher. So I usually tend to miss all of that, but it's all fine. If you ever get the game yourself, you can actually go look for them you instead. We have some more ammo, we take out these guys. Ooh. Why? Who else? Who, who let you shoot at me? There we go. Take care of these. I think we're done here. We need a key. Which is... This key is just for... Uh, this key is just for... Uh, um... Did you say it? That's the case. This seems to be very evil. Let me fix these guys too. There we go. Sorry, sir. Here we go. In here, we will actually get the keys for some stuff, if I'm not wrong. You shut up. Let's see here. No. Actually, wrong way. I need to figure out. Uh... I need to figure it out there. No, we don't, we don't need a key yet. Soon, but we need to find a way down where we were supposed to go. Let's see. Take care of him. And that one. Thank you. Let's see here. We did something wrong here. Maybe we can find some more ammo, though. That would be great. I mean, more armor there, if you remember. Keep that in mind, it's there. Oh yeah, we need to get in there. I just don't remember how. Oh! I'm being a stupid. I'm being a silly boy. Let's see, we have that, but I don't... Let's see. Yeah. I don't remember how to get that one, though. It's somehow, and I'm just being... Hmm. Let's see. There is a way you can get it. I just don't remember it now. <laughs> I was like, wait, did that come from there? That was what I had in my mind. Never mind, we go back here. It's all good. I tend to forget stuff after like a week. It's around a week since I tried out the full version. And I played lots of other games like Nightingale. I started playing Pacific Drive. I play Hunt. Plan playing Hunt here and there. So it's lots of information so you forget some stuff and you heard them. Which is fine. It happens. Shit happens, you know. Let's see here. Well, you know what? We go back here. There's, there's something in the main area we need to do. So we just gotta... Yeah, we just go here. And we solve it. It's all good. The best part is I can use the... I think I'm just being stupid this here. It is. It is. We go. We take care of these. These fallen ones? Yeah, here we go. Now now we had the... And we're gonna have some uh, widows here and some being angry at you. There we had the fangum. And if you look at it, does it remind you of something? Does it remind you of the nail gun in Quake 1? One of the very first weapons you get. It's pretty much the same thing. But you shoot fangs. And in the origin... In the uh, uh, early access, this is the main... 
attack, and if you right click, you spam it. But in Earl Access, it was actually really slow, it was more accurate. Really good stuff. It wasn't here the fact. Uh, never mind. Oh no, you get him. You get him soon. You do this, take care of these guys. Okay, I guess you want to see this one. There we go. Take care of these. Sa save here. Full health again, which is really nice. We need a key who's down there for a door. That's what we're looking for. And here we will have... Ooh. I think it was called Gretsch or something. Very annoying. There we go. We will have some... I think we have you guys. Let's see, there's some shotgun shells there. Oh, we have this guy! Forgot about him! <gasps> oh, there we go. Forgot about that fat guy already. There we go, took care of him. What was that guy called? Executioner, there we go. Yeah, he he have a tendency to run, uh, uh, charge you and it hurts. Kinda cute. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, there we go, we, have, we need a key for that door. Take care of these. There we go. Oh. It's so hard to speak sometimes just because they are very aggressive here. I do my best to speak to you meanwhile. Whoop. Sorry, sir, but I had to. Okay, there we go. Let's see. We're gonna head up for that thingy soon. I just need to steal some stuff here. The stuff all, all around the place I want. Let's see, some more ammunition. There are ways to reach stuff like here. If you do that and you do this, you get that orb of deflection. If you stay on. Oh. If you stay at. Um, you get like a bubble. If you say that much. If you stay in the bubble, it reflects bullets or something. I think it goes back to them instead. If I'm not wrong. Do we have anything else here? I know we have a chest here. I think... We... I don't really care because we have healing here anyway. <laughs> here we go. We have a chest here I want to get to. We need... We got the key. We get some ammo. We get the life siphon. So we are not filled up, but good enough. There we go. And we have a life siphon up there. I know how to get it. You need to trick jump a little bit. So we're gonna, just going to head out again because we need a thing. Take care of these guys. If I'm not wrong, it's like, yeah, it's actually here. There we go. I think, no, that was just for the key. Never mind, we, uh, but we gotta go grab that one instead. Whoop. Grab this one and have a great time here. And then we take care of this guy and this one. Look at me, speedrunner. <laughs> Now I just remember some stuff at least. Now, nah, like I said, there's so many games I play, so I forget some stuff, even if it's a short notice since I did it. But it is what it is. Let's see. I haven't really explored here, not even during the Earl access. Do I have anything fun here? No? I may have healing there, but we need, don't need it. So we just gotta pop in here. Go say hello to this guy. And this one. Huh! That hurts, sir. 
see. Can we get up there? Huh? Huh? Sneaky way to do it. We're gonna do this though. We take the life siphon, keep it in our. We do that. You see? Get back some health by it. There we go. It she's a little bit. Okay, let's see here. Need to get back here. Uh, it should be around. Let's see. It's in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. We might have some. Oh, yeah, we have an angry widow here somewhere. somewhere. They are very fast, to be honest. They do a little bit of damage as well. Oh, she was. Oh, no, it's the next place. Everything looks the same. <laughs> but yeah, we're back here. So we need. Of course, you're back. Take care of this. Guy. There we go. He's gone. Not really a big fan of this uh, executioner. There we go. We get some thanks. I miss one. Miss one. I got stuck in stuff. That's the, that's the hardest thing in this game sometimes. Oh. There we go. First try. Take this one too, and I'm gonna show it for you. So I think if you stay in here. Yeah, there we go. As long as you stay in this bubble, they can't hurt you. And the bullet does reflect, but I guess if you actually manage to hit... If it manages to deflect correct, it will actually hit them in the face. I guess. Never really tried it. Oh, okay. It's like, what the hell is that sound? I saw some shotgun shells up here, I think it was. I'll go grab that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Need all of it. We see some fangs if we want to. Alright. Now we're good to go here. And we need... We're actually gonna head to the next place. Which is... Just gonna do this. Heal up a little bit. Save it as well. Take care of these guys too. Don't wanna overuse... You don't wanna overuse the shotgun and the fang gun too much. There we go. Since this one do pretty good damage and the house, we don't really have to think about anything. There we go, he's dead. You're not in, an, in need to have to use anything else then. There we go, take care of this one too. It does hurt a little bit when we do that, but it's all good. There we go. You see, since I don't want to waste that. <laughs> It gets some. It get takes a little time to get used to the controls in this. All right, it's just here. Yeah, yeah. Up, we need a red key for this door. It's pretty much the same basic, and it's actually down there, down here. Where we need to go, <laughs> sir. Kind of rude. Get rid of the shotgun because we have a we have a window here somewhere, so who will come? There we are! Annoying. Ever. I don't know where they come from either. Oh, you sit in those. <laughs> Stop! Move back! I understand why a window though. <laughs> there we go, we don't really hear him when they march out from that. There we go. It's like kind of a little bit of a horror game at the moment. It's not too bad though, it could have been worse. And the charm with games like this, you're supposed to learn by your mistake. If you die, you die. It's not It's not a biggie. You have lots of, to save with, but you're just gonna save it even if you don't have to. You need to head down here, so we're just gonna grab down the fang one. 
But you know what? We're gonna use this one because th here we have like a mini boss pretty much. And he wants to kill him once, he will multiply. And more assist here. I just wanna get rid of this guy. Okay. Oh! There we go. Now we will have two of them. I'm not. They are not too hard to kill though, but they are very. Whoop! They are annoying though. To a certain point there. There we go. Heal up a little bit. There we go. Life is nice, and here we get the sis gun. We shoot the same stuff he shoots. It's the same as the other ones throwing. Yeah, you see, it's it's a little bit like the one in. Uh, it's kind of like in Unreal Tournament because if you shoot this, they, they act like a mine, like a proximity mine, pretty much like in Unreal. Neat little thing, and this game is actually heavily based on, inspired by Unreal and Quake, so makes sense, I would say at least. I I rarely use it, just here and there. Get this one as well. Take care of this guy. But we do this. No reason to use I'm on these guys. Maybe on her, but eh. Can you come down there? Wobat! Nine! Three! Did he even hit me, sir? Are you fine? Are you okay? Hello? And this is not the only challenge you want. We, have a, we will have one who is even worse. You remember Kako Demon from Do uh, Quake? No, Doom, I mean. Yeah, something similar here. I remember you. Stop being annoying. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, here we have it. And we have another one. Or two of them, I think, even. Apparently, these ones do lots of damage on them without being. Ah! Ooh. And we have the Sis Man. Oh no, the Sis Monster. Whoop! Glad he's not too hard to murder though. I almost said Döda, like in Swedish. I'm getting stressed when there's so much going on here. Boop. There we go. Do this as well, take care of this guy. And this one. Ah! Happy time. Cruel egg is never used. I'm intrigued. Care of this guy too. Let's see what what is he called? Oh! Hey! Stop! I tried to read here. Let's see a wraith. Fallen wraith, afflicted, widow, invader, heretic. They are called stricken. So they are called heretic. I'm just gonna call them. I'm just gonna call them. Something else. Ugh. I'm just gonna call you Wannabe Kako. Let's see. I think she'll be fine here. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, I'm just heading here. Then we have an elevator here who leads us to the next place. We gotta do that. Or at least <laughs> leading us up so we can take. Heading us to this place. We have one of these guys here. Should it be too hard to kill if you be beat dead? No! Okay, take care of these. Take care of that guy too before he started uh, rushing me. 
Ah, let's see. Did we have anything behind there? I don't remember. Let's see. Maybe I have some stuff here. I'm saving. One of these guys and this one. Apparently I can't even hit them because I'm, I'm bad. Sir, stand still. Oh! There we go. Down there. Kind of fun. Horrible. Let's see here. Take care of some stuff here. It's cute how you don't want to really die. Get. Ah! Stop it! I don't have time for you. Sorry. Oh! I love how the... <laughs> how the window just ran into it. She... Oh, they were together then. She took a bullet for her boyfriend, but he died anyway. Sort of romantic, but... I don't give a crap. <laughs> Take care of these guys too. Oh shit! I didn't want to get stuck in you. Ow! That did actually hurt. All right, there we go. Oh, I, oh! I did one of these by mistake. It wasn't on purpose. I think a fat finger door. Go take care of these as well because they are very annoying and useful. There we go. You're kind of annoying too, woman. Let's see. Any more healing? Oh, armor here? No. I had the orb of deflection there. Here we have the place I, I usually die from. Let's see if we can take it more careful now. They will have two of these uh, taco demons on the sides here. Yeah, that guy too. Just gonna head over. There we go. There we have you. Take care of that guy. Take care of him too. I missed him though. There we go. There we go, he's gone. You should have fallen down there and die, and there's no way up again. I know this place is kind of violent, so we're just gonna do that. Do that. Take care of him. And I'm actually gonna boost over here, grab some stuff. Oh! Hello! Apparently that knife is better than I thought. Sir, calm down. It's like shooting very aggressive ducks. Take care of that guy too. Take care of you. And you. Ah! Let me speak to my people. As you can see, it can be very hectic like all games can be. But that's a fun part of games like this. It should be a little bit hectic. It should stress you out a little bit. Let it teach you how to play the game. Since all enemies are different, every, every different, uh, and every enemy have different attacks and so on, so it's a good way to learn it. You can actually learn the patterns as well if you're that nerdy. Like, okay, he will shoot like that, I go like this, but the rest you can actually. Okay, we gotta do this. Grab back some ammo, help there. Whew, okay, there we go. <laughs> We're fine now. For now. <laughs> Hello. A sneaky little secret here. Didn't know about that one. Well, then we found our first secret ever. <laughs> Never found a secret in this. I just saw something weird with that ball. 
Let's see here. We'll see how got, uh, far we get. But they carry that window. And the invader is gone as well. Take care of these as well. Be dead. There we go. I thought I had more ammo for. Oh! Thank you. Thank you. I actually wanted more of that. Get rid of these guys way easier. If I can actually hit, okay, I killed him though. Ah! Success! Oh! Oh! Yeah, just spawn behind me! I feel that set, Mr. Pimple. Rid of this guy too. I mean that that's what I said. If you learn to learn the path and how they actually work, you can actually dodge these weapons. Or these uh, these orbs they shoot. I don't know how it is with the invaders though. I feel they are a little bit like hit rig. They wherever you they, Him, like I said, that's amazing. There we go. To be fair, I don't think I ever came further than this. <laughs> I always were in such a hurry until now. I actually took it more carefully because I knew I was gonna fall down there otherwise. I think last time I got to this bridge and I felt down. Let's see, see what we, what's waiting for us on the other side. Though. Oh, we are at the morning wait. All right, so we are done with this place. Then so we killed one of the bosses, I think. I think them. Yeah, they've had the Undercroft and the miss. We killed 354 out of 377. We found apparently four secrets. Cool. I didn't know that. I thought we only found one. We found one out of one relics. The playtime is 37 minutes. Almost 38. It's pretty good. Good little time to show off the, the game what it is all about. Not gonna do on the boss and then right now we have these as well. The Ruin, Ruin Nation Blade, Revolver, Shotgun, Fang, Spitter. Wretcher. So here's a little bit of the game at least. And if you like what you see, don't hesitate and just get it. I'm, I'm sure if you like boomy shooters and you, you're a fan of Quake, Quake and Unreal, you will you will enjoy this game too. It's a fast paced little golden gem. And this game will be released tomorrow, 27th. So you will see this one day before the full release of it. You can already get the Earl Access game, but the full release of the game, if you wait for that, it comes tomorrow. Thank you, Fulcrum Publishing, for inviting me to try out the full version of the game a few days before the release. And the rest of you, Guy Ben, for a while, you know the drill. And the others who are new here, maybe like what you see, please hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my channel. Maybe leave a comment too and say what you think. Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.